Hello there and welcome to the So You Picked series, Job Edition, where we look into your toolkit up to level 60, how and where to get your job stone, and have a look at your starter job cage. Now, today we're going to be looking at the Monk, another classic melee Fun Fancy DPS, but unlike the Dragoon, it's a little bit more on the intermediate side of things, with a more freeform combo system and a lot more positionals to manage. So, Rin, are you ready to go? Good stuff, good stuff. All right then, let's get to it. So, before we jump in on Locking Monk, we are gonna have a quick look at the rest of the Pugilist skills. Now first up, level 18, you will get access to Twin Snakes. Now that will deliver an attack with a potency of 230 and will be boosted to 260 when you execute that from the target's flank. Now this is your second skill that will be available to you to use after you use boot shine so you have a bit of variation there now this move has an additional effect it will increase your damage by 10 percent for the next 15 seconds and obviously it will change your form to the coil form which will be for snap punch nice and easy stuff now next up at level 26 you will get armor destroyer which is your first aoe skill available to you now, that will deliver an attack with a potency of 110 to all nearby targets. And if you are in Opo Opo form, it will boost that damage to 140. And additional effect, it will change your form as well. Now, next up, at level 30, you will get a move called Demolish. Now, that will deliver an attack with a potency of 80 and will be boosted to 110 when you execute it from the target's rear and it will have an has an additional effect which it will apply a damage over time to the enemy with a potency of 80 and that will last for 18 seconds and as with all the other skills it will change your form in this case it will change it to opo opo now next up at level 34 you will get your second stance we'll call them called Fists of Wind. Now what that one does, that one will increase your movement speed. Really handy for when you're running between pulls in dungeons or just wanting to move around the world a little bit faster. It will increase both your general speed and your sprint speed a little bit. Nice and easy one. Now next up, at level 42, you will get in another ability called Mantra. Now Mantra is a party-wide like buff and that will increase the HP recovery by healing actions by 10% for yourself and all nearby party members and that buff will last for 15 seconds. Pop that when you can if you're taking on if your group's taking a lot of damage by all means pop Mantra it will help the healers out and they'll love you for it. Now lastly at level 50 pugilist you will get a move called perfect balance. Now what Perfect Balance does, it will grant you 6 staff of the Perfect Balance buff. Now each stack will allow you to use a weapon skill that requires a certain form without being in that form. It is used in your level 50 rotation as a bit of a burst damage thing. I'll go into more detail into that during the level 50 stuff later on in the video. Now we'll cope with your pugilist skills. Your level 30 rotation will have a couple of additions to it. Namely, the first, well, the second two parts of your buff combo, which will change up things a little bit. Like the Dragoon, obviously the combos are kind of split up into, you have a buff combo and you have a damage combo. Obviously you want to start off with the buff combo as soon as possible to get obviously all your buffs up and running so that you do more damage with your attack combo fairly straightforward so with your 30 rotation you will want to be starting at the rear of the enemy right at the rear in this lovely open space see the circle around them that little open space that indicates that's the enemy's rear and anywhere on the sides of the ring where the arrows are, those are the flanks. So with the 30 rotation, you'll start at the rear with a boot shine. 
Then you'll be moving around the side for your twin snakes. Back to the rear for the demolish to apply the damage over time. Straight into another boot shine at the rear. Stay at the rear for your twin strikes. And then back to the side, lastly, for the snap punch. And then you would head back to the rear and repeat that process for the whole fight. Now, AoE wise, it's very simple. You'll be hitting them with Arm of the Destroyer. Straight into a Twin Snakes for the damage buff. Ideally from the flank. Not always possible, but ideally you want to hit them from the flank for that extra damage. Then you would finish that off with Rock Breaker, which is your level 30 job skill, your first job skill. And just repeat that until everything's dead. Nice and straightforward. Now, prior to getting level 30 and Rock Breaker, you'll just do the same thing. Obviously, just leave Rock Breaker out. So you'll go Armor Destroyer. Hit them with the twin snakes, and then just spam armor the destroyer until your damage buff runs low. And when it runs low, just reapply twin snakes straight back into armor the destroyer. But once you reach level 30, that obviously that will change, and you'll just rotate with armor the destroyer, twin snakes, and rock breaker. Nice and easy AoE rotation. Nice and easy. So, with that being said, it is time to go and unlock Monk. So, we're going to be heading back into town and we'll end up back at the Pugilist Guild to speak to Hamon to pick up his quest. So, now that we're back in the Pugilist Guild, to unlock the job zone, you will need to have done the following things. Firstly, you will need to be level 30 in your starter class. In this case, Pugilist. Secondly, you'll need to be past a main story quest called Self Management. A lot of people missed that one out. And lastly, you will need to have done all the class quests up to level 30. And that last level 30 class quest will send you to your job stone giver and ultimately your job stone. In this case, we will be sent to go and see Eric here in Uldar up in the Goldsmith's Guild. Now, finish his quests and you'll be the proud owner of your monk job stone and your first job ability, Rockbreaker. Now, once you have your job stone, you will need to equip it by going into the character menu. Then all the way down to this bottom right hand slot down here for the soul crystal and equipping your soul of the soul of the monk. And congratulations, you know, a full blown monk with a messed up hot bar. Now you can either fix it manually by dropping the skills back on or if you want to sort it out quickly i would suggest using these text commands that i'm putting on screen now and what those will do is we'll copy your pugilist hotbar over to your monk one making it nice and simple so now this is where we're going to split it up a little bit and we're going to have a look at the toolkit up to level 50 then have a quick look at the level 50 rotation after that we're going to jump into the 50 60 stuff and the basic good job gauge so if you're not interested in level 50 stuff jump here to the level 60 60 part and i'll see you over there all right so we're going to jump straight into the level 30 to 50 toolkit fairly straightforward stuff for most of it starting off with rock breaker at level 30 and that will deliver an attack with a potency of 150 to all nearby enemies. It can only be executed in curl form, which is the third, third tier of your combos. Additional effect, it will swap you back to the first tier opal opal form. It's nice easy stuff. It does go in play into your AoE rotation from now on. Now, next up level 35 is your gap closer called shoulder tackle now what that obviously does is it will rush your target and deliver an attack with a potency of 100 
and you cannot use that while you are bound. It's basically used as a gap closer to get back to the enemy quickly if you have to dodge an AoE or if you want to switch from an enemy from a boss to a, an ad that's just showed up. So like it's a movement thing. Now next up at level 40 you will get your third and final stance which is fists of fire now you will want this one switched on before you initiate combat ideally keep it on as much as possible and i will increase your damage dealt by five percent so it is a damage buff it's a permanent damage buff as long as you've got fists of fire stance turned on like all the others, you cannot use it with Fists of Earth or Fists of Wind at the same time. And it will share a recast time with both. And if you want to turn it off, just reuse the skill. Now, next up, at level 45, you will get a move called Four Point Fury. Now, this will deliver an attack with a potency of 140 to all nearby enemies. And can only be executed in Raptor form, which is your second tier of weapon skills. Now it has an additional effect and it will extend your Twin Snakes buff duration by 10 seconds up to a maximum of 15 seconds. That will slot into your AoE rotation just nicely. And lastly, as with all the other skills, the addition, another additional effect which will change your form to the Quill form, which is your third tier. And again, that will last for 15 seconds. Now lastly, at level 50, you will get Dragon Kick. Now that will deliver an attack with a potency of 230. And it will be boosted to 260 if you do that from the target's flank. Now, if you are in Opa Opa form, which is your first tier, when you use Dragon Kick, that will grant you a buff called Leaden Fist, which lasts for 30 seconds. And what Leaden Fist does is that boosts the damage of your next boot shine up to 370 and on top if you add that onto the critical damage if you hit them in the rear with the boot shine that's quite a good bit of extra damage for you every time you have leaden fist active so you will want to be using that as much as possible right guys so before we jump into the level 50 rotation proper we're gonna have a quick chat about a one of the role skills that i feel is very good for monks now that is true north at level 50. now what that does is that will nullify all of your action requirements for the duration of 10 seconds and it has a maximum charge of two now i find it's a little bit more useful for monk due to the amount of positional requirements that there are for the job however obviously it will be used on you can use it on dragoon samurai and ninja they will benefit from it just um, in my opinion less so than monk so that will lead into the level 50 rotation now the 50 rotation is very similar to level 31 Combo wise doesn't change up that much. The only real difference is that you will be replacing that first boot shine that you've been using. Replace that with dragon kick and you will be starting at the enemy's flank instead of the rear. The dragon kick gets its dragon kick gets its bonus from the flank, so that's where you'll be starting. The rest of the rotation and the positionals will remain the same. If anything, it will flow a little bit nicer because you'll be starting and ending your rotation at the flank, which makes it flow really nicely. Gets you right into the right pattern. The other addition is a decent burst damage stage before your main rotation kicks in. So for that, make sure pre-fight that you have Fist of Fire turned on for the extra 5% damage. Then you'll be starting by popping Perfect Balance in a true north. Straight into Dragon Kick, Boot Shine, Dragon Kick, Boot Shine again, and then lastly a third Dragon Kick and Boot Shine. Then once Perfect Balance runs out, you jump straight back into your main rotation, which is Dragon Kick from the side, staying at the side for Twin Snakes, around to the back for Demolish, straight into 
boot shine. Stay at the rear for true strike. And then back around to the side for snap punch. And then repeat from there. Nice and easy. Well, say nice and easy. It takes a little bit of practice. And just keep doing that until everything's dead or perfect balance comes off cooldown. If perfect balance is off cooldown, just repeat that little damage phase. Right, now AoE wise, you will be adding in four point fury into the mix. So you will start with the rock breaker combo that you've been doing so far. Make sure you are at the flank for the twin snakes, just for that extra damage. Ideally, obviously in a mass pack, then it's not always easy to hit something from the side. But you will start off your rotation with Armor the Destroyer straight into Twin Snakes to get your damage buff. Rock Breaker. Then you will swap over to Armor the Destroyer. Four Point Fury. Rock Breaker. And keep on doing that until everything's dead or your buff runs out, which it shouldn't do. Nice and easy AoE rotation. Right guys, now that we've been through the level 50 rotations and stuff, we're going to jump straight into the level 50 to 60 toolkit, then jump into the level 60 rotation. Alright, so first up, at level 52, you will get form shift. Now what that is, it's basically a mini perfect balance. It will grant you a buff called formless fist. And that will allow the execution of a weapon skill that requires a certain form without being in that form. Whereas with perfect balance, you will get six stacks, which will let you six stacks of stuff, which will let you do that. Form shift does it just once, it gives you one stack to do that move, and it will drop off once you've used the skill. Now it has its uses, but its main use is in as an alternative starter to. The level 60 rotation I'll go more into that obviously when we go into the rotation itself but that's pretty much what it's used for now next up at level 54 you will unlock three things first one your job gauge will unlock with a lovely five little crystals now secondly you will get access to meditation now what meditation does is every time you use it one of your crystals on your job gauge will light up now once you collect five of them you can then meditation will then change to the forbidden chakra now what the forbidden chakra does is will deliver an attack with a potency of 340 now you can only use it while you're in combat and while you're on under the effect of fifth chakra obviously fifth chakra being when you have all five crystals little fairly easy thing once you've used the forbidden chakra it will change back to meditation and you have to regenerate your crystals or light up your crystals all over again now the only other thing to add to meditation is if you are in combat every time you use meditation it will light up one crystal if you use meditation outside of combat, it will light up all five crystals in one go. So it's always worth making sure you hit meditation to generate five crystals. So you have a forbidden chakra move available at the start of each fight. Quite important to do that. Now, next up at level 56, you will get an, an AOE ability called elixir field now what that does is will deliver an attack with a potency of 250 to all nearby enemies and you would just add that into your aoe rotation simple stuff now lastly at level 60 you will get access to tornado kick it is off global cooldown so you can use it every 45 seconds and that will deliver an attack with a potency of 400. Nice little extra damage. And that is your toolkit up to level 60. Right guys, so now we've had a look at the 50 to 60 toolkit. Now it's time to have a look at how all your new toys fit in. 
Now your basic rotation does not change much from the level 51. Pre-fight, you will want be wanting to use Meditate so that you can start the fight with a Forbidden Chakra move available to you. Obviously, keep rolling over from the level 51, make sure you have Fist of Fire turned on for that extra 5% damage. Now, ideally, you will still be starting the fight with the perfect balance burst damage phase that you've been doing. Only additions to that would be you'll be adding in a Forbidden Chakra and a Tornado Kick to the end of that. Just for that extra damage, it's a good spot to put them in. Just before you start going into your Dragon Kick main rotation. So that new starter will look something like this. You pop Perfect Balance, True North, do your three Dragon Kick Boot Shines. Like so. Hit him with a Forbidden Chakra. Straight into a Tornado Kick. And then straight into your main rotation. Starting with Dragon Kick at the flank. And then just continue doing your normal rotation. Like so. And then I like to use a Meditate straight after the snap punch that seems to be the best place to put it and obviously just keep on doing that until perfect balance comes off cooldown and use meditate to generate your stacks until that becomes available until you get another forbidden track remove and keep going on like that nice and easy stuff however if perf if you start combat and perfect balance is still on cooldown you will be doing an alternative starter which is where form shift comes into play. It's obviously not as good as your perfect balance starter, but it does generate an extra leaden fist combo just for that extra little bit of damage. The alternative rotation is very simple. You would start off with formless fist straight into dragon kick, and then you just do your normal rotation from there. Very easy stuff, very easy. So it sounds a lot more daunting than than it actually is. It becomes second nature very easily, very easily. Now, AoE wise, it will remain exactly the same as your level 51. The only addition, as you probably guessed, is just adding Elixir Field whenever it's available. And just keep on doing that until they're all dead. So, that has been our look into the monk and how it all works. Now, hopefully, my explanation of everything has removed some of the questions you may have had. If you have any more, feel free to ask, and I shall answer them as best I can. Now, Rin, thanks again for all the support and all the efforts. Right, guys, so that has been our look into the monk and how it all works. Now, hopefully, my explanation of everything has removed some of the questions you may have had. Now, if you have any more, feel free to ask, and I shall answer them as best I can. Now, Rin, thank you again for all your efforts. It is always appreciated. Uh -huh. Now, the next job we're going to be looking at is the last of the starter DPS jobs, the ninja. <laughs> so, please look, look forward to that. Now, thank you all for watching. If you're new here, feel free to hang out. Come check out some other stuff we've got going on. We would love to have you here. If you're not new here, thank you again for all support. It is much appreciated. And you all know what's coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And as always, we shall see you on the flip side. Bye bye.